A warm welcome to finals day here at the Torre Pan Pacific Open in Tokyo. Premier level event and a huge day this for the Japanese teenager Naomi Osaka. What a week it's been. A first Premier level final, a first final of her career. Forget all the categorizations. For Caroline Wozniacki, she's more familiar with this situation. Champion here six years ago at this event looking for a second title, also runner-up in uh, 2014, the Dane. A first final of the year for her after her injury troubles, uh, sliding down the rankings. It's uh, an excellent resurgence for the Dane these uh, past couple of months. Guy McCree alongside Sophie Amiak to take you through this final. Good to have you with us. Uh, the first thing to report, Sophie, is the weather is a lot better. <laughs> it's fantastic first of all, to see this roof open. We, we've had so little of it this week. Yeah, I think we had maybe one and a half match uh, that was played uh, in, in the condition that this tournament is supposed to play as an outdoor tournament. But, uh, you know, thank goodness for this roof. <laughs> Otherwise, we would have not finished this tournament. I think <laughs> We would have not been here right now, probably not in the final yet. But... Uh, Thank uh, goodness for the weather today. We're going to actually have those conditions, which I think might help, actually, Caroline Wozniacki to play with the roof open. I think the conditions are a little bit slower. And, um, you know, I think in our head it's also, it's also there. Indeed. We uh, look at how these two finalists have uh, made their way there through uh, latterly to this stage. Uh, Osaka with the big wins uh, earlier in the week over Sibulkova. And then uh, that win over Svitolina in the semi-finals. Wozniacki, well, what a semi-final that was with her good friend Agnieszka Radvanska. Two hours and 50 minutes where Radvanska had, to, uh, had the chance to serve for the match at the end of the second set. And it'll be interesting to see how uh, she rebounds uh, from what was a grueling semi-final. These are the weather conditions, confirmation of it's a fair bit warmer actually than it has been. But the main thing is the roof uh, here is open for this final. Great to see. Judy Shendley of Norway in the chair for this uh, championship match. Pose for a photo with a uh, young, very lucky lady, I suppose, alongside uh, these two. Osaka winning the spin of the coin and has chosen to receive first. Interesting that. That she should look to do that. Not always the case, but that's what she's chosen to do here. Massive moment in these two and their careers, obviously for Osaka, but for Wozniacki, a chance uh, to return to a WTA final, something uh, that she hasn't uh, has done since uh, the finals of Stuttgart well over a year ago. And it's quite something for her, for all the achievements uh, that she's managed to muster in her career so far. Uh, two finalists here beginning their warm-up uh, with the roof as I say confirmation that it is open uh, conditions are much better we're not expecting any rain at all here through the course of this final and again that's uh, quite some change uh, from the week as it's been as you were saying Sophie it's basically been an indoor tournament uh, for most of the week but both of them have to make uh, that adjustment here uh, because they've been playing indoors uh, for much of the week so it'll be interesting to see as you uh, look overhead here this retractable roof this uh, facility started hosting this tournament back in uh, 2008 of course, that's a lot longer than the history here the Torre Pan Pacific Open over the years going back over 30 years staging of this event back to the days when we had tier one tier two categorizations and it's always been a highly important event on the WTA calendar over the years I mean we talk a lot about the conditions I mean um, let's talk a bit about these two, uh, first of all, and your impressions, I suppose, reflecting on the week, Sophie. We've, we've commentated the matches uh, through the week. Um, general impressions of the two heading into this final, things that have stood out for you uh, with them through the week? Well, I would say that Wozniacki's um, mental toughness uh, against Carla Suarez Navarro was a very tough match in her uh, first round opener, as uh, Wozniacki had uh, 
uh, actually a second round, sorry, when she played uh, against Suarez Navarro was actually incredible. And uh, as for Naomi Osaka, as a uh, 18-year-old, you know, it's the temperament of this uh, fighty. I mean, she just is out there. You think that she's going to be gone. Yesterday against Vitolina was pretty much uh, taking, uh, you know, care of in the first set. Vitolina could not do anything wrong as Osaka was making a lot of enforced error. But, you know, I love the fact that she hangs in there. And I think the association with... Uh, uh, David Taylor uh, this week and for a little bit now has been definitely helpful to understand the game better. This is a look, uh, you've referenced it already, at this highly impressive run. Just the one set dropped on the way to the final for Osaka. That was in the semis against Svitolina where she came from a set down. She absolutely uh, demolished uh, Dominika Siborkova. Maybe it's the standout performance of the week, how she beat the uh, Slovak in a uh, little over an hour. So just the one set drop for her through to what is the uh, maiden final of her career. For uh, Wozniacki, 26 years of age. I always look at that. So because I feel like she should be a lot older. She's been around so long and has been so successful twice, of course, at WTA year end world number one. But this resurgence is so good to see, isn't it? Because people were doubting earlier on in the year with the injuries. They're wondering, can she ever come back to the top of the game at this point? Has she got the motivation? I think she's convincingly answered on both counts these last couple of months affirmatively that she does have that. I think all of us got the answer. You're right about this, especially with that semifinal at the U.S. Open and, uh, you know, the move from, like, being in, like, close to the uh, 80s in the ranking, move to top 30s, and uh, now is going to keep going and hopefully get back in the top 20 uh, pretty soon. But, you know, she's just so steady. She's been playing unbelievable. And look at all those three sets matches. That te That is telling of one thing and one only right here is the stamina of this woman, the resistance, the physicality of her game and the match yesterday against Radvenska. Uh, was incredible. Uh, I, I thought that was a very, very interesting match for all of us, not only to watch for the youngsters out there, to take notes on every single aspect of that match. They can do everything. They tactically are willing to change and, you know, to be able to adapt to each other, and they know each other so well, but it was a great, uh, great spectacle yesterday. Yeah, she spent over two hours longer on court, wasn't Yaki? You would say with most players that would be a disadvantage, but because she's so fit and able to keep going... Maybe not so. That's so much of an advantage for Osaka. Confirmation, it's a first meeting uh, between these two, and it's taking place in one of the biggest uh, finals of the year on the WTA calendar. But, of course, uh, a chasm in other statistics. Uh, we look at it because, for instance, Wozniacki with the 23 career titles. Uh, what is it now? Almost 22 million U.S. dollars in career prize money. Osaka, just over half a million so far. But that's growing very quickly. And uh, in her first final, Julie Shendley has the honour of uh, umpiring this uh, championship match. I suppose your thoughts, we've, lo we've looked at how they've got through and everything. Um, this particular match, you've touched on the conditions. I know you personally, you think the conditions could have, the different conditions, could have a key role to play in how this final shapes out. Just a bit more on that from you. Well, I think it's a little bit slower. And, uh, you know, if, if Osaka is on, I mean, we saw it yesterday. I mean, she play, pretty much took, took care of business in the last two sets. And, uh, I mean, even Svitolina, who is such a quick player out there, was blasted by, uh, by the power of Osaka. So if Osaka is on and you're playing indoors, the court is playing a little bit faster, it's not going to be helpful. Here's a look at the uh, honor roll here at the Torre Pan Pacific Open. As I mentioned, this uh, tournament now in its uh, 33rd year. There's a look at some of the recent winners. Uh, Martina Hingis is actually the record holder at this tournament with five titles. Uh, everyone, uh, all the top names have pretty much won this tournament. The likes of Graf, Sabatini, Navratilova and Davenport. And uh, here is what they're playing for. The, uh, the winner's purse, 193,850 US dollars, as well as the 470 WTA ranking points. So this is our final at the Torre Pan Pacific Open. Naomi Osaka, the Japanese teenager, 18 years of age, appearing in her first career final at this level to take on the 2010 champion at this event. Caroline Wozniacki of Denmark appearing in her first final in over a year, looking for her first title, as it would be in over 18 months. She won the uh, tournament in Kuala Lumpur in February of uh, 2015. Hasn't been in the winner's circle on the WTA since then. There's a lot to explain for that, injuries and uh, everything else besides. But she's back in a final, back in with a shot here against Osaka. Well, she's trying to be the 
first Japanese winner of this event since Kimiko Date Krum 21 years ago. First finalist since uh, Date Krum achieved it back then. Of course, she beat uh, Lindsay Davenport in the final that particular year. A lot on the line, as always, when we reach uh, the back end of a WTA event. This is no different. Guy McCree alongside Sophie Amiak to take you through this, uh, the final match of the week here at the Torre Pan Pacific Open. Osaka won the coin toss and has asked Wozniacki to begin. Nicely handled, as I uh, noticed earlier, the roof being open. It's a different way of looking at the ball. <laughs> Look at the sky. You have a lot more light or different light. So. She's going to have to cover that uh, white serve. That's two times now in a row. And to do so, give her more of the, the tee. Maybe step a little bit to the right. Make the player do something else if they're as comfortable. Serving very impressively uh, through the week, uh, Wozniacki, but back to that semi-final with uh, Radvanska, it's the, uh, the greater aggression, the willingness to come forward, the number of net rushes that was, uh, was key to that particular win, you felt. A few issues for her when she begins this final. You're right to mention the, the fact that Wozniacki was really... And the reason that I think she won that match against Radvanska was really because of the quality of the return serve that she started to serve to return down the line, following that to the net, as mentioned. And that made the difference in that match. And really the key for Naomi Osaka is to uh, try to be steady, try to take her time, be patient, because uh, 
against Caroline Wozniacki, you have to have patience, and when she can trigger, go for it. Go for a shot, take the ball early. Perfect example here of uh, really waiting for the right opportunity to uh, trigger. When she goes for it, you can see that the ball takes off so fast from that racket head. But with that said, you know, yesterday we saw it against Vitolina. I mean, she can also make tons of enforced errors, and that's where you have to find a balance. Oh, it's 19 unforced errors in that first set against Vitolina. Very well to turn it round. The quality of the first serve is going to be important for her to try to get also short replies like here. We know she can serve uh, at least 180, 85, sometimes close to 190 kilometers per hour. Huge power. Well, she keeps doing the exact same uh, tactic that she used against Radvanska. Well, take the ball early on the second serve and uh, get in. Yeah, some of her return positions yesterday against the Radvanska second serve were, were interesting. So aggressive. Coming in quite so close here. On the baseline, as she was doing, as that match wore on, that semi final conventional turn position here at the moment. Nice, oh, fantastic point. Yeah, apologizes a little bit for the fortune midway through it. Very good from Osaka early on here. How shocking is that, that she gets to that ball, Wozniacki. It's a great retrieve here. Okay. Opens uh, her account. That's ace number 26 of the tournament for Osaka. She begins with the whole tournament best. The figure continues to grow. Very well thought. I think it seems like she has really a good uh, tactical game in her, in her mind. Sees the opportunity here with a short serve. Coming too fast as well. Wow, that completely distracted the Caroline Wozniacki. Yep, it's a little twist on that ankle. That actually could have been much, could have been much, much worse. worse. Yep. 
I love the fact that she wears wristbands, wrist ankles. <laughs> I love it. Fun. Different colors today. I've never, I've never <laughs> seen this done. I think it's fun. Why not? Fashion stick. And you see, this is how smart Muzniaki is. I mean, she just got creamed, creamed with the back end down the line earlier. She's not going to give her another one like that. She's going to switch and see, can she do it with the forehand? So quickly react. He's control of the rally beautifully there, Osaka. Sensing that right moment. Shot selection, the balance. Balancing different possibilities. That's what she continues to, to grapple with and improve on. Early chance to break here. taken with a plum the first break of serve in this year's tokyo final goes the way of the japanese teenager osaka 2-1 opening set Time. Early stages of uh, this year's Torre Pan Pacific Open final. Naomi Osaka appearing in her first final of her career. <laughs> no nerves on show. She's feeling nervous. Not showing it in her tennis in these uh, first 13 minutes or so. With the break, 2 1 opening set. Pretty impressed with uh, how Naomi Osaka is dealing with the jitters, and you know, I mean, this is her first final. I mean, this is pretty good to start and being kind of in control so far. No signs of nerves. Beautiful, great angle. Talk to us a bit about this serve. I mean, everyone has been discussing it, women's tennis fans this week, about how good it is already and the fact that it can get even better. I think we all agree on that. Just break it down for us a bit. What makes it so good? Oh. 
Well, the first thing is that the technique is very sound. And uh, I mean, I say it on every shot. You know, if, if you have good technique, you can only improve on it. And I think the improvement is going to be uh, to definitely get a little bit more power behind it, get more acceleration, keep really accelerating through impact and uh, being very loose and relaxed before you start your swing. And I think she can use a little bit more legs. That's what I'm seeing right now. And think about it mentally as a weapon. Think I want to have one ace a game and maybe win at least one point, one free point on it. So that would be two free points a game. It's going to be tough to, uh, to lose your serve. You know, this is like we're talking in the range of uh, Serena Williams, you know, when she's at her top and serving. But definitely the technique is pure. WTATennis.com, of course, our uh, official website. We've been talking about Osaka's uh, service quality there, but uh, also a breakdown there from our uh, SAP coaches' view. Of course, SAP, our uh, analytics partner, big partner of the WTA. And uh, a breakdown there reflecting actually, uh, they basically, it's an ongoing series. They look at key matches in the year and look at how a player won them. And in terms of Osaka's semi-final win over Svitolina, that's the feature in terms of her improved performance in the longer rallies being key. So definitely worth a look there. Very key here for Wozniacki to hold and uh, try to put a lot of first serves in. And she, she's, to me, she's the most nervous of the two right now. Wow, you have to make it that good against Naomi Osaka, otherwise you know she's going to run it down. I mean, she's very quick, very explosive player. And for her not even to try here, which I would have loved to see a little more of a try, is that it was just way too good. sense already the pressure that there is on Bozniaki's second serve trying here to go to the tee taking a little bit more risks delivers for Wozniacki and she stays just a single break down here. Tam, gdzie czujesz, gdzie jest ustawienia. Nie myśl, że jej na backhand czy forehand, bo to nie ma znaczenia. Z ustawienia grasz, ok? To jest jedna rzecz. I druga, y, Karol, jak, jak serwujesz drugi serw, a chcesz jej serwować na backhand, nie możesz rzucać do przodu, bo ty wtedy kiku nie zrobisz. Wiesz, to ona tutaj jest ok, ale jak, jak chcesz serwować kik, to go zaserwuj, Karol. Zrobisz błąd, nic się nie dzieje, ale czujesz, że ten kik jest. Wtedy decydujesz o graniu, ok? Pierwsze serwy masz dobre, rzucasz dobrze, nie za daleko do tego, wszystko jest ok. Tylko, tylko pamiętaj, że, że, że w ten sposób graj co teraz. Ustawiam się, wchodzę i gram. W najlepszym momencie biorę piłki, dobra? Przechodzę y, rotacją i, i, i tak jak idzie. Super kar. Y, ona lubi serwować na backendy generalnie, no nie? Zwłaszcza z tej drugiej strony. Także wiesz, wiedzę o tym. Dobrze jest kar. Ty no. musisz w ten sposób pomóc. Biorę w najlepszym momencie piłkę i przechodzę, dobra? Dobrze. 
on for the first time in that sit down. Rotherham coach, of course, of Caroline. 20 minutes played here or thereabouts. Uh, Osaka still with the break here. 3 2, first set. And this is where she's going to learn. I mean, she's late on that forehand, and she tries for something way too big. When you're late, you want to pretty much go cross-court to make sure that this doesn't happen. So well there in the extended rally, Osaka. Listen, if she is able to sustain the rally and uh, wait until she can trigger and put a little more pace on the ball like here, she's going to win this final. It's just doing it for two sets against somebody like Wozniacki. A challenge though. Good eye, Caroline. the rhythm right here instead of going cross court she went down the line behind Osaka and it worked Loves that backhand yeah. down the line. Well, we saw, a, exactly. saw a lot of that in the semi-final, didn't we? <laughs> exactly, and that you know, Saka's you know, serve prior to that one on the do side wide is probably more efficient. First break point, of the final for Wozniacki. Osaka unravels a little bit as that game wore on and Wozniacki capitalizes. Back on serve here, first set.
Clever return, setting all of that up. The right play, though, just poor execution here. Good. Uh, Miss Naki actually could have played that, left it. It's judgment. It's coming fast. <laughs> <laughs> Too fast for her to uh, put a racket on it, but you're right. She thought maybe it was going to go out. Opportunity to move uh, right back in front. The first serve is really making the difference uh, for Wozniacki. It is in terms of this resurgence that we're talking about as well, not just this week, but you think in uh, New York at the Open as well. She served impressively there. Control Osaka. Wow, that's good timing for this uh, ace right here. As you can see, that Caroline is kind of holding a little bit of left leg. Maybe. Uh, match yesterday definitely uh, put a toll on her it's a long match against Radvenska. Yeah, spotted our uh, primary healthcare provider alongside Denise Parnell the referee just to the side of the court I think waiting to come on at the sit down at the changeover I think it's for Wozniacki not confirmed seemed to be that way Challenge it. But in this rally, I mean, she's playing shorter and shorter. Rosniaki is very dangerous. Rosniaki again, I need to focus on Osaka there, but there's a bit of discomfort. Look at her as that review came through. Chance to break in the game for Osaka. Ah. 
And hobbling, somewhat ailing a bit. I think she's going to get some treatment now. Wozniacki, she's been broken again. It's Osaka back in front here, opening set at 4 3. Caroline Wozniacki then uh, leaving the court. We've decided that the, uh, the medical timeout here is going to have to take place uh, off court after the brief uh, diagnosis. It appears to be the groin, actually, the left uh, side. So Osaka made to wait, having just uh, broken for a second time in the opening set. 4-3, the advantage uh, for the Japanese teenager appearing in her first career final, of course, with just over half an hour play. But that medical timeout will take place uh, off the court. She has to wait. Um, appears to be, I mean, we're speculating a little bit, what we saw in the diagnosis, uh, Sophie, there, it does appear to be the groin with, uh, with Wozniacki. I mean, that's a difficult area for her. You well, would think some residual, perhaps, from oh, the tough yeah. week she's had in that semi-final in particular. Yeah, I, I believe that the match yesterday against Radvanska was a, a tough one physically, and, uh, you know, it comes to a point where, you know, your body can only take so much, even though she's in such great shape. Uh, it is uh, at some point pulling everywhere and you know the recovery was very short so hopefully she'll feel better and be able to continue here and because uh, if Caroline Wozniacki can't run you know it is uh, pretty much what 60% of her game I would say um, and especially a growing injury you know it's if it's what it is but this is what it looks like it's difficult to tape I'm not even sure what they can do um, you know, quad, you can tape, you can hold the quad in, the, in place, but uh, growing every time she's going to push off of that left leg to recover, you know, you feel it. And, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, off tough off one treatment. for Caroline right now. Yeah, it's disappointing uh, for the spectators here, of course, for all of us. We await, we hope that uh, primary health care providers who do such a wonderful job week to week on the WTA, keeping uh, the athletes. Uh, Catching up their bodies uh, through the year because it's a long, tough uh, season. They hope, that, hope they can do some good work with Wozniacki. But she's off court receiving a, a medical timeout at the moment. And uh, with you there, I think it is a little bit. It's to do with the, uh, the semi-final and the week she's had. But of course, she had injury troubles uh, earlier in the year as well. But uh, we'll wait to see what condition she's at when she comes back to the court. Osaka uh, made to wait. Meanwhile here, having uh, just broken for that 4-3 advantage. Just wonder, yeah, whether she'll uh, get up here and start moving around. This David Taylor is working with her at the moment. Former coach, of course, of Sam Stoza. And it could be on the on the court. I think he's trying to sign her to say, hey, get me on. Because right now with an injury timeout, you're allowed to have your coach. It's kind of a freebie. Mm. You know, you're not using your time. You know, you're allowed to have your coach one time during the set. And that would be not using that. And he's trying to sign her. <laughs> But she's, uh, I think this is, this is like typical of a young player who really is not aware of, oh, yes, yes, <laughs> I could have my coach on court. Yeah, she's so in the moment, so focused on what she's trying to do. As you say, up, trying to keep moving. But uh, I think David Taylor would like to get on here. We have heard from him through the week. He's, uh, he's played a key role. And you think he is playing a key role because she's, Based at the Harold Solomon Academy in the States, Fort Lauderdale. It's uh, Taylor coming on board. Uh, and we, we're both agreed on that, that 
great fit uh, you feel for Osaka at this point. Think of the work over the years that he did with Stowe's uh, similarities and strengths in their particular games, but also just that experience that he can bring to Osaka. At the moment, not able to speak to her. But she is wisely, and I always make this point, Sophie, she's getting up here, moving around. There's quite a few players who, through a medical timeout, will just sit in their chair, and then they'll get caught cold on the resumption. But she's uh, getting up. I think she's actually going to try and hit a few balls as well. They're still trying to make contact, meanwhile, the team. Oh, well, he's telling her to stay focused. In yeah. it and, uh, you know, that, that signage right here is a very known one on the tennis course. <laughs> you know, keep, keep going, stay the course. Um, but I don't think that he can come in right now. I think she had to call him right away. She had to decide that right when the time, uh, the injury timeout was pronounced. And after that, if you don't do it, you can't just, oh, I forgot. No, mm. you can't do it. Yeah, he was initially trying to make exactly. contact while before yeah. it was announced officially. But as you say now, it has been. It's too late for the moment. Well, the good thing about her is that she's 18 years old, so it doesn't take very long to warm up at that age, okay? <laughs> you know, <laughs> Other players, you know, it's tougher when you're older and you get out there and you have to wait for about three, five, six minutes. Definitely uh, more of a challenge. Well, it's unavoidable. I mean, Wozniacki has to go. They've decided he has to go off the court for medical timeout. But this is good from Osaka's point of view, again, to reiterate that, to stay up, moving, keep loose. As I say, she might choose to hit a few balls. She might not. But I think the big thing is here in these situations just to get up and keep moving around, keep the body She should just follow sharp. those guys. Take a little... Do a few laps of the track, so to speak. The, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Wozniacki returning to the court. Needs to have been some uh, a take job there on the uh, upper part of that left leg. And we await to see what sort of condition she's in on resumption here. So we can resume here. Uh, Caroline Wozniacki back from that uh, medical timeout off court. Breakdown once again in this uh, opening set to Naomi Osaka. Some six minutes of delay. Osaka to serve with the break once again at 4 3 first set. All eyes are going to be on the movement here of Wozniacki. Of these next few moments, uh, primary healthcare providers do a fantastic job, but they're not miracle workers. A tough week of tennis for her. Mentioned earlier, entering the final, best part of nine hours on court, culminating in that absolutely grueling semi final with Radvanska. And you can tell that Rosniaki is really tiptoeing here. To put uh, too much pressure on that leg, but uh, once again, it is probably 60% of her of her strength is the movement. Oh. On the flip side, though, I just need to make this point: it's difficult for an opponent when they see that on the other end you know exactly how to go about it I've seen this over the years opponents struggle to grapple with that exactly the, the sort of game plan to employ against someone who's not a hundred percent wow well, she decided to take this with a forehand didn't get around that ball quick enough well Rosniaki didn't have to do much in this game to get a break point here a break back point break. Uh, off the medical timeout. 30 love down in that game to get the break back for a second time in this opening set. And as you pointed out, you know, she's definitely disturbed by the injury, not focusing, not uh, just trying to keep playing her game, keep the course. To 
good. Can't give her another chance. Didn't do much with that volley. Of that one. Quality of uh, Wozniacki serving here because of course you got the upper part of the left leg, Sophie, and since the landing. Yeah, I don't think it's really the pushing, but you're mm. right, it's really the landing and then pushing off of that leg to get back uh, into position. Second serve here. That's a, a great first serve, and this uh, has definitely been a weaker return on the first serve, using that wide slice. Only miscued that one. says a lot about Wozniacki that since the medical timeout she's actually got stronger as it's got on a couple of games on the spin to now lead at 5-4. I don't want you to think anything from what's happening over there. That thing, nothing from her physical condition. All right? you, you, you're decelerating on a few balls there. There's no reason for that. Right? You've got to get back to being very active. And your, your shot has to have intensity from the beginning to the end, all right? Think nothing what's happening over the other side of the net. Focus on what you can control. You, you can't control what's happening over there, but you can control on what you're doing. You've got to get back to business, huh? Really good intensity between the points, and, and each point with intent. And the, the intent of the game is to move the ball around and wait for your opportunity. You must keep the court position. That's, that's so important, Omi. You have to stay up and let the racket accelerate through to the end of the shot. That's how you're going to control the ball. Think nothing from, from that side of the, the court. You do what you're doing. All right? You're playing well. It's a little bit disruptive of rhythm. Let's finish now. Okay, back to business. Okay, accelerating racket head through all shots, physically committing through all shots. Moving the ball around, waiting for opportunity. Serving, going after serves. All right? Get back to it. Second Time. serve, racket speed. First serve with intent. Understand? All right, come on. Let's go, let's go. Three quarters an hour played here in this final. See Caroline Wozniacki, if you're just joining us, left leg uh, taped up. More treatment just now in the sit down. Meanwhile, David Taylor, Naomi Osaka's Coach on for the first time. 
couple of games on the spin for uh, Wozniacki. So it's falling a break down for the second time in this opening set. And now it's Osaka really for the first time here in the set. And it's playing catch up. Looking to stay in the opener at 4 5. That was a great pep talk that he had, David Taylor, with uh, Naomi Osaka. I mean, totally telling her <laughs> that she has to forget what's going on, on the other side of the net. She's not in control of that. She has to control only and try to control her own shots, accelerate through the ball, keep the racket speed, especially on the, on the serve as well. And doing what she does right now, which is take your time, wait until you have the opportunity to trigger. It's great coaching. Kept mentioning the word intensity, didn't he? And, and, and court position being key to be intense, keeping that court position. Try and keep this set alive. Nice. Much better first serve, close to 180 kilometers per hour, and uh, especially in an area that is very difficult to return, left hip. The shot selection is not correct here. I mean, I really believe that this should have been going deep cross court. Wait for a ball where you're inside the baseline to really put more on it. She's looking at her dad and telling her, you know, telling him, you know, she can't really push on it. That is much better. I mean, once she's inside the baseline, it's uh, so dangerous. You have so much power. Yeah, it's been interesting since uh, the consult with Taylor. Uh, pick up on it, the, the change. It's the value of that on-court coaching, isn't it? Can change matches around, turn them around.
been up a break twice in this set, of course, Osaka. Oh, and it was definitely on there. Zniaki not really doing enough with her approach. Yeah, but it's down the middle, and she's not really getting set to hit it. She's too close to it, cannot trigger. Look how our arms can't extend. And it's the fact that she's putting two first serves also in a row here is very important for Caroline. And you know, she knows that this set is very important. If she was to win this set, there might be a chance that she can uh, go all the way. But physically, she looks like she's definitely uh, having trouble. She's not pushing that mm. leg at all. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it is a great shot. I mean, it's coming fast, but normally you would see her really trying a lot harder to get to it. Yeah, well, she doesn't give tell. up. You she know, what, stops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wozniacki just never gives up on a ball like that. She'll still, as you say, make an effort. And there again, the movement. And for this, it's disappointing to see, of course. It's the nature of professional sport. For a second time in the game, was Niaki. It's an interesting point you make as well about the fact the first set's crucial here, not just in terms of final, but as you say, even was Niaki who backs herself. You know, you think of the three setters at the moment with her physical condition, she's even going to think, can I go through three sets like this? You know, the problem with the growing is that it, it can get really worse. And uh, it takes a long time to heal. So you have to also realize, well, you know, down the line, what's left in the tournament. So. Double for uh, Wozniacki. That's really one place where she has room for uh, really improvement. I mean, she's hitting that so flat. There's absolutely no margin. And you know you're going to have to learn to brush up a little more, put a little more spin on it. Saka can't capitalise. Wozniacki digging deep. Two break points saved. She leads again at 6-5.
games to come. Approaching the hour here, and the first set not yet done. Caroline Wozniacki really competing here despite not being 100%. Has got herself her nose in front again at the back end of the set. Osaka to serve to stay in the opener for a second time. That's where she really needs to go, is really more towards the back inside. I mean, if you have somebody who's injured on their left leg, you know they can't push right here back. It's cruel, but you know, it is. You've got to do what you, you've got to do what you've got to do. I'm with you on that. It's been surprising, really, since the injury became apparent. She's been going a lot to the forehand for some reason. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Point made. I mean, she actually gave her, what, five forehand for two backhands here? Yeah, I'm not, say, point you know, I'm not saying you don't go there, but the point is that the direction of attack there is... It should be the opposite. Yeah, yeah. It should be five backhands yeah. for two forehands. Yeah. yeah. Strange. I would call that experience, personally. And it is in her head. I mean, I, I can tell that she's probably thinking, oh, my God, I know she's injured and I cannot win the set. This is crazy. Two set points for Wozniacki. One of the best competitors out there. And she's shown it again, despite not being 100% fit. Wozniacki, twice a breakdown, ends up winning the opener off Naomi Osaka, 7-5.
the primary healthcare providers being kept busy here. Of course, Caroline Wozniacki uh, already having received treatment. You see the taping on the uh, upper part of her uh, left leg. Naomi Osaka now is the focus, having uh, lost that first set in an hour to the day in 7-5 uh, after being twice a break-up. At the moment... Well, you can just hear the confirmation now that there is an official medical timeout. There was, again, the uh, period of consultation to start with. They are being kept busy, aren't they, Sophie? This is a weird dynamic going on here on this court, but, uh, you know, this is the end of the tournament. This match is being played. And uh, I have to say that I'm impressed by uh, just the will of... <laughs> resilience of uh, Wozniacki staying out there and keeping trying. As for Osaka, I think this first set was very difficult to uh, deal with once uh, Wozniacki got injured and at the timeout, it felt like she uh, was more focused on uh, Wozniacki's injuries, injury, but you know, and when David Taylor came in, tried to put her back into a bubble saying you have to not focus on the other side of the net you cannot control that try to control your shot and uh, really your tactical game which she tried but unfortunately way too many unforced errors again she was she pretty much you know gave the set I mean it's not really that Caroline had to do much with it and Sophie Laura is the uh, primary health care provider who is being kept busy through the course of this final another awkward area isn't it this that's being uh, worked on at the moment you mentioned how uh, difficult groin areas are for for players but this is another problem part of the body especially with what her so what her soccer brings to the court and her strengths right and she's trying to really release i think the muscles on the neck which are all attached to that shoulder and uh towards the end of the uh, medical timeout. Now, three minutes, as always, of uh, treatment permitted. And uh, Wozniacki wisely, again, looking to keep moving, especially with what's happened in recent times uh, with her. Trying to keep this left leg loose. Preparing to begin the second set. Meanwhile, this medical timeout continues. I mean, another aspect that uh, we forget to mention is that this is close to the end of the year, and you know, you know, the bodies are starting to give up a little bit. It's a grueling season for all the players out there. Yeah, and it's a balance of things, really, isn't it? Because uh, obviously you've got very, very important events coming up, but this is a final in itself, so it's, it's awkward. It's not like it's, for instance, a first or a second round where you're thinking... OK, well, body's not in great shape. I could do with a few days recovery here for tournaments to come. Obviously, we've got Wuhan. We've got the Dongfeng Motor Wuhan Open Premier 5. We've got the China Open, the Premier Mandatory as well. I mean, there are big tournaments coming up. But clearly, this is a massive occasion in itself. So you're balancing it all, all the time in your mind while trying to focus on game plans, trying to, trying to win a match at, at the same time. So there's an awful lot going on here uh, mentally as much as anything. Time. I mean, there's a lot of stake at stakes. I mean, for this youngster here, it's the first final and could be her first WTA title. And as for Carolyn Wozniacki, it's just a resurgent and coming back, you know, to the front of the WTA scene after not winning a tournament for so long. So she wants it. Second set to begin then. Uh, both players having now had uh, medical timeouts. But Wozniacki set to the good here on Naomi Osaka to begin the second. One thing about injuries is once you have a leg injury, you start making up for 
your placements and you do more. And this is sometimes very helpful for players because they work on their footwork so well to avoid taking big steps and injure more of their legs that they actually produce better tennis. Got it. Right at the eye of the needle there, so to speak. Predictably owning the forehand winner stats, so Sakura over Wozniacki. as well. What's actually more interesting is look at the backhand breakdown of the, the winner's stats. They were, uh, Osaka is also stronger okay. than the Dane. Why didn't she hit a backhand volley on, on this? She had to go around the ball to hit a weak forehand volley. Sanctioned. Chance to break serve. Start of the second set for Osaka. She's moving better. She's, uh, I think, the first set being in her pocket is definitely helping mentally. We know how mentally you can also help your physicality out there. Trying to forget about that leg. Good, great serve again. Been really helpful, especially getting a short uh, return. on the way through. Wozniacki again winning the key moments here at the moment. Break point saved. Set and one love. The 
some of the numbers, Sophie, from that <laughs> first set. I mean, we're a little bit surprised, to be honest, it turned out in terms of the way the scoreline it did when you, when you look at some of these numbers. Well, I mean, I think really what bothered Osaka mentally was to really think about Wozniacki's injury instead of focusing on her own uh, tennis. But the 45% first serve is not helping for Naomi Osaka and the 18 unforced errors, even though you have uh, an even out winners, it's definitely uh, what hurt her. It's not really Caroline Wozniacki who won the set. It's really uh, Naomi Osaka who lost it. First serve percentage at the moment for Osaka is uh, low as it's been in the week. at these sorts of marks I mean go back to the, the well, first round it was, a, it was a tricky occasion wasn't it the match with uh, with Misaki Doi the top two Japanese players going head to head she was at 46 for the match there and then 49 a uh, match that you did one of the matches you commentated uh, Sophie against the qualifier Alexandra Sasnovich as you say it's other aspects as well here at play just a pure question of the first serve being that Clearly, that's, that's a factor. I mean, it's, it's a massive weapon when she's landing it. I suggest mentally, as much as anything, uh, losing away somewhat. Wozniacki, of course, one of the words in the nicest possible way you, you think about it, you think about it being ruthless in matches. I mean, you don't get to year-end WTA number one twice without having that quality. She's not going to let up in this situation. Three more chances to break. Not one first serve in the in this game. It's costly. The break to love. Set and two love now. difficult she's so keen to impress Osaka she's been finding the answers through the week this thrilling run to the final but she's uh, in a bit of trouble now Three free points again in this game from Osaka.
think the difference in experience between the two of these finalists is uh, being brought to bear more and more as this goes on. Wozniacki moves further clear. Caroline Wozniacki on top of Naomi Osaka, firmly so in uh, this final at the moment. Just thinking something actually in the, in the sit down, Sophie. Interesting your thoughts. I'd, I'd love to know what the viewers think about this as well. I mean, the, the way Wozniacki has opened up this lead despite the injury. You're, you talked a lot this week about mental toughness, which is a, you know, a factor in this final for sure. You know, we've seen in the week this gruelling run. I mean, matches with Suarez Navarro, with Ravanska, now here battling the injury. We'd rank Caroline Wozniacki amongst active players for that quality. I will say she's in the top five and uh, probably top three. We'll put Angelique Kerber on that, in that area, Serena Williams as well, and Agnieszka Ravanska being really, to me, the top in the world as far as mental toughness and you know and she she mentioned it when she was at the u.s open anyone who says who is 74 dropped in the ranking went through what she went through with physical injury with you know being criticized all her life about the fact that she was number one and never won a Grand Slam. You know, everybody's looking at her pointing the finger. How can you be the number one and not win a Grand Slam? Well, I think that's coming back from oh. this, being now close to getting in the top 20 again, I think if that is not called mental toughness. And then she shows it on the court. I mean, she's showing it right now, not feeling 100%. Well, she's all over Osaka here. There's no doubt about that. Starting to dominate Wozniacki here. Three more break points. And you can tell Osaka herself is struggling with definitely some problems as she's serving kick serves in the first serve. Kind of engaging the ball instead of really going for it. That tells you that probably herself not feeling great with her shoulder as she got treatment as well. Reminder as always of our uh, Facebook account, our Twitter, lots of coverage there, lots of links to coverage of the Dongfeng Motor Wuhan Open, the Premier 5 level event. That's uh, starting off, main draw play starting off today. retrieve positions through the week Osaka you go back uh, to the match uh, with Sasnovic difference there was a set up before she mounted the recovery in the second
that's wide. And again, you know, Wozniak, he retrieving so many balls. And this is uh, another dagger through the heart, really, isn't it, for Osaka? Point that she absolutely controlled and comes out on the losing side. And going behind Wozniak, it would have been a good play. She decided to go to the cross court to the forehand. Too good. You didn't get caught by the approach shot. There was a short cross court change of pace, change of uh, dynamic in this point right here when she came in. She herself gave her the answer. Miss for her here. And that inside out overhead. Very impressive numbers coming forward again from Wozniacki in this match. Highlight of that semi final win over Radvanska and similar here. Second ace of the contest for Wozniacki. She's just a game away from the title. It's been quite a while since uh, Caroline Wozniacki was a winner on the WTA, but it will be about to uh, change over these next few moments. This career final for Naomi Osaka, it just hasn't gone the way she would have hoped so far serving to stay in the match.
and again, I mean, it's just one element of things, but you look at that first point, I mean, you made the, issue, made the point already, I mean, the fact that the serve, there's just nothing there now from Osaka. That right shoulder, medical timeout, speeds, it's not even a comparison to what she can do. Well, she's kicking the serve, she's yeah. not even hitting it for a serve, she's just engaging the point. Well, she's using it basically to start the point. I mean, this is exactly. someone who serves normally, has been up to one night. Yeah. Put the ball in yeah. and start the point. Yeah. And, uh, She's up at 196, 197 this week on the speed gun. It's all ending rather quickly here, it seems. And you would have thought that Wozniacki was not maybe going to be able to finish the smash, but I think the fact that she won the first set really changed uh, mentally, talking about mentally tough, tried to... Stop thinking about the injury. so frustrating when you've got that serve I and mean, one of the biggest serves already in the women's game it's only going to get bigger and it's just taken out of the equation here in this final now to be able to draw upon it it's going to be so frustrating Here. <laughs> Maybe she's confident that she'll close it out very soon. <laughs> what did she say? Going again to the review. Well, yeah, she's got it right. One out of two in this game. <laughs> Last time Caroline Wozniacki won a title, Kuala Lumpur, February 2015. Championship point. I hate to save it, though. She got mad. <laughs> <laughs> Look how quickly she moved around that ball. I mean, she had all the room to hit it. impressive and when the Osaka saves the championship point keeps this final alive a little bit longer at least well, 
I would say anything is possible if she could serve, but I think it's going to be very difficult for Naomi Osaka to come back into this match with only putting the first serve as really a second serve. So first she needs to break here. This is telling that uh, Rosniaki's leg is feeling much better because to come back, I'm just Long trying to retrieve that ball on uh, getting wrong-footed, showing that she's uh, definitely feeling better with that leg. down against Sasnovich, second set, particular quarter-final. That's a way to shorten the point. Well, that's what she's <laughs> capable of. I mean, this is, you know, all about this player. I mean, it's uh, really not the exact picture we've seen before on what she's able to do today, but uh, she has such arm and uh, velocity in her strokes that she can blast pretty much anybody out there. Chance to get one of the breaks back. It's so least, easy, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> at least she's showing that she is definitely a, a very promising player on the WTA Tour. And uh, it's good to watch because technically it's a very sound, beautiful arm. Oh, 
that's one. another it's a succession of world-class strikes from Naomi Osaka and the Japanese teenager is still in this one of the breaks retrieved in this second set Osaka is still in this final, her first final of her career. Just about. Still so much work to do, though, to really contend again. Serving to stay in the match. Again, 2 5. Show now when she can get into the rally, extend it into medium longer length, so she's starting to prosper. Right, but the thing is, you know, if you, Caroline Wozniacki, knowing that she can't serve first serve 180 kilometers per hour and she's serving second serve, really, why not take a cut at it? This is what she did here, but going a little bit backwards, but you have to consider that you're hitting a second serve. Get inside the baseline and see if she changes or if she uses her shoulder. I mean, she is definitely a hindered with our shoulder right now. <laughs> well, she did it here on this point. It was much more aggressive off of the uh, return to serve. She almost stopped there, Osaka. I think she thought her serve was long. It's uh, moving out, trying to stretch out the shoulder. Again, this is absolutely heartbreaking for her not to have the first serve in play. the heavy artillery I just love to hear the roar of the fans when mm. she starts accelerating that arm and the ball is like flying 10 20 kilometers per hour faster through the air it is so impressive Well, she's got something about her, we all know that. It's X Factor, box office quality. Naomi Osaka, that's why she's so exciting, why everyone is so interested to watch her. And she's got another game back on the board.
Now she's going to start believing now. And, uh, this could be very dangerous. I mean, it's really Caroline's going to have to uh, find the ways. Maybe come in, try to s maybe put pressure and come to the net. Question here of whether Osaka has left herself too much to do. Wozniacki led five love, remember, in this second set. held championship point and uh, Osaka served to stay in the match for the first time at Love 5 three more opportunities here for the Dane to clinch the title Caroline Wozniacki wins the Torre Pan Pacific Open for the second time. It's a return to the WTA winner's circle after over 18 months away for the Dane. Quite the resurgence. Both players struggling with injury through that final. And credit to them that they produced what they did. Osaka's first final ends in defeat. And it's Wozniacki the champion in Tokyo. Pretty amazing, great resilience, willpower, and uh, mental toughness. We talked about it earlier, about uh, Caroline Wozniacki totally made an obstruction of her injury. She uh, had problems in the first set, but uh, I think uh, experience also played the, a big role in this match. Osaka got bothered and really couldn't really keep playing a game in the first set once the uh, injury timeout took place for uh, Caroline Wozniacki and uh, at 18 years old you can understand that uh, she's going to have to learn and hopefully take a good lesson from this match talk to her coach and come back even stronger yeah absolutely we can reflect on that for Osaka and what's been still a tremendous week for her but it's all about Wozniacki in many ways here yeah, the team, of course, her father and coach Piotr right at the front of it. 24th career title for the Dane. And it continues a streak for her, having won a title now, at least one title a season every year since 2008. That streak goes on. Congratulations and welcome back to the champion's seat of Torre. Thank you. Arigatouzaimashita. Today, when you came to the court, you had a smile on your face. You came to the court and you had a smile on your face. 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 You had a smile on your face coming into this court. Were you actually relaxed before the final? 
You know, it's the last match, and I just wanted to go out there and enjoy it. It's a finals, and, you know, both of us have had a great week, so I just wanted to go out there and have fun and then try and play well. はい、そうですね。とてもいい一週間を過ごしてきましたので、とにかく私はここに出てきていいプレーをする、そして楽しもうと思って実際に入ってきましたということでした。もう11ヶ月の間怪我に苦しんで、それを乗り越えての現在なんですけれども、とても楽しんでいるように見えます。それが勝因の一つではないかと思うんですけれども、It looks like you are really enjoying the sport right now after the long term of the, the where you suffered from the injuries. Was that、um, the Part of your strength recently, USA and now? I think so. You know, I'm just enjoying it and being out here. You know, injuries happen and you don't know when you're taken away from the game. So、um, I'm just enjoying every minute of it. はい、そうですね。あの実際怪我をしていますので、怪我の後ということで、とにかく試合を楽しもうという心があるのは確かです。そしてまたすぐに怪我でね、プレーが中断されてしまうかもしれないと思うと、とにかく楽しもうと思いますということです。さあ、大阪直美選手の印象を聞きたいですよね。直美 is the rising star of Japan。どんな印象だったでしょうか。What is your impression of her? Well, she's been playing really good, and、uh, she's going to be a great player, and she's already rising in the rankings so fast. So、um, I've no doubt we'll see her in many, many more finals. はい、あの彼女はもう今すでにランキングもどんどん上げてきますし、これからどんどんどんどんこういった決勝の舞台に出てくることは間違いないと思いますということでした。さあ、最後に皆さんにメッセージをお願いします。Please say some words to the audience and the TV viewers, please. Well, thank you everybody for coming out today. You guys are amazing, and、uh, everyone at home, thank you for supporting me always, and、uh, love you guys. Hi, you guys, thank you so much for supporting me. I'm always happy to be here. Thank you so much for supporting me. I'm always happy to be here. Thank you so much for supporting me. I'm always happy to be here. Thank you so much for supporting me. I'm always happy to be here. Thank you so much for supporting me. I'm always happy to be here. さあちょっと残念な結果ではありましたけれども1週間を振り返って今の気持ちを教えてください。Um, still very happy that I made it to the final, so. はい今日は負けてしまいましたけれども決勝まで進めてやっぱり嬉しいですということでした。さあ皆様の今の気持ちを。拍手に表していただきますか。皆様、大阪選手の今の試合いかがでしたでしょうか。ありがとう。ありがとうございます。えー、今週大阪選手はトップ20の選手を2人破っています。シブルコバ選手、そしてスビトリーナ選手、そしてフォーマーナンバーワン、世界ナンバーワンのウォズニアキ選手とも素晴らしい試合をしました。自信になったんではないでしょうか。<laughs> すみません、英語。So、you, <laughs> you beat Chibukova and、uh, Svitolina, the top 20, two, two top 20 players. And did these results boost your confidence? Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> はい、自信になりましたということでした。もうとてもこれから先の活躍を期待していますので、日本のファンの皆さん、テレビをご覧の皆さんに一言お願いします。はい、えっと、うん、応援、応援して、くれて、ありがとうございます。はい、ありがとうございます。今後も期待を活躍します。Good luck for the rest of your career. ありがとう。はい、ありがとうございます。それでは。So the interview's、uh, at an end, and Caroline Wozniacki on her phone, on her Twitter account, I don't know. So, yeah, just have a little、uh, post there. Osaka clearly upset.、Um, I mean, we saw this in New York, the match with Madison Keys, Sophie, while we wait for the trophy presentation here. I mean, but that's a good sign in a way. I mean, the way she's reacted to that, that match with Keys, what we've seen her do here,、um, you'd understand that reaction from her. Well, I think this is a learning experience in all the ways since U.S. Open to this match. Totally different situations, but、uh, I think that you know this is all that's going to take place right now at 18 years old.、Uh, I mean, having on her side, you know, someone like David Tell is going to help also with the experience that he has. And I mean, we can look at those numbers all we want, but it's you know the 
the reflection of the match is so different than really the statistic, although the unforced errors also 32 still on Osaka. The serve percentage very low, especially uh, first serve. She, it did come higher because she was serving really second serve in mm. the first serve in the, in the second set because of uh, the shoulder injury. But, uh, you know, was not enough for Wozniacki herself, you know, with that first set in, the, in, her, uh, in her hands, was able to really forget a, about the injury and uh, just too many unforced errors from Naomi Osaka to stay with her here in this match. While we wait for the uh, trophy presentation, here's uh, a look at the current standings. The BNP Paribas WTA final Singapore presented by SC Global Race. Of course, Angelique Kerber, Serena Williams qualified at the moment there. These two not in the shake-up for that, but Zanecki, uh, of course, has been a regular participant at those finals uh, in the past. The jewel in the crown of the calendar. Presenting the awards will be the tournament chairman, Akihiro Nikaku and Vice Chairman Nobuo Kroyanagi. Joining them will be WTA Supervisor Julia Orlandi, referee Dennis Herno, and the Tournament Director Kentaro Miyamoto. The runner-up is Naomi Osaka, Japan. Naomi Osaka then making her way up uh, to receive the prizes. 103,504 US dollars to be presented to her, the runners-up check, as well as those 305 WTA ranking points. So very important for her. She will uh, move into the WTA top 50 as a result of this run to the final. Hiro Nikaku, CEO of Tore, the title sponsor, presenting Naomi Osaka with her uh, runners up plate. The tournament trophy is a work of art of traditional Japanese craftsmanship with a design that beautifully expresses the spirit of women's tennis. Now, with a speech, Naomi, please. Um, I want to thank like all the people that came to watch and the ball people and the umpires and um, Caroline for playing a really good match and um, the people that like cheered me on and the crew, I mean you guys, hi dad, um, and the sponsors, Tori and Mr. Miyamoto-san. えっと、日本語じゃ。あの、応援、応援して、えっと、見に来て応援してくださった皆様に感謝したいと思います。for all that she's achieved in her career, I think this uh, 24th career title well, it tastes very sweet for uh, Wozniacki. First title in uh, over 18 months. The injury troubles of earlier in the season. Terrific comeback. 
look, she is back in the winner's circle, and that, that's huge. She's getting closer to getting in top 20, you know. I mean, it's definitely uh, where she feels she belongs in the top 10 anyway, as she says when she steps on the court every time. The winner's check then to be presented alongside uh, the trophy again, Akihiro Nikaku, the uh, tournament chairman and the CEO of our title sponsor, Torre, to uh, present the spoils to Wozniaki. $193,850 US dollars. 470 WTA ranking points as well, which will take her to 22 or 23 on the WTA rankings. Um, first of all, I want to thank everybody who's made this tournament happen. This is such an amazing tournament. Everybody loves coming back every year, and um, you know it's uh, it's it's an amazing tournament. I can't wait to be back next year. Um, I want to thank Tori and Mr. Miyamoto, and of course Julia and everybody else who makes this tournament happen and make this great. I also want to thank the fans for being incredible and always supporting this tournament so well and, and for cheering me on today, even though I played uh, Naomi, who is Japanese, but you guys are amazing, so thank you for that. Um, I also want to thank Naomi and, and congratulate you on a great week. Um, it's been really good. You're young. You have plenty of time in front of you, and I'll, we'll see you in many, many more finals. I'm, I have no doubt, so um, congratulations. Um, I want to thank my dad, who's here with me. Um, thank you for always being there and always believing in me. <laughs> Um, even when everybody else don't, he's always there. And uh, my mom was watching in front of the TV, and my brother, and everybody else who's, uh, who's watching. Thank you so much, and uh, see you guys next year. Thank you. え、この大会を見事に運営してくださった皆様、本当にありがとうございます。お礼を申し上げます。え、これだけ素晴らしい大会を毎年のように開催してくださり、本当に感謝しております。来年もまたここに立って、この会場に来られることを楽しみにしております
while they pose for some pictures. Some, some thoughts from you, Sophie. I mean, not just on this final. I mean, reflected on this, but on the week as a whole. I mean, uh, we, we dwell a lot here on Wozniacki, but maybe a word for Osaka again and what she's done this week. And any other kind of standout points for you from the, from the week commentating these matches? Look, we had like two players who came from the qualification get to the quarterfinals, you know, Sasnovich and Lynette. I mean, some new faces, you know, some young faces also. And for Naomi Osaka, I think, you know, she's part of the great future of women's tennis. And uh, it's great to uh, to look at this and to see how she's going, the evolution of that player. That's what, you know, is, is really fun to watch at this point uh, in her career. But overall, great tournament. And then you had the, you know, the quarters, I mean, the semifinals yesterday with Radvenska and Wojniaka, which was a fantastic match. So, yes, I mean, I think... <laughs> she got scared. <laughs> <laughs> I think overall, I mean, a great tournament with a good inspiration for the WTA and uh, women's tennis right now. Yeah, strong week in the Asia swing. All these points and prize money on offer. It's great to see Caroline smiling at the end of this tournament as the champion. We really do put on a fantastic event here. She referenced that actually in her uh, champion speech. So we're coming to an end of our coverage here. Caroline Wozniacki, the champion for a second time, is also, of course,